Good morning, Poudre Education Association. Tom List here coming to you from the Media Center at Rocky Mountain High School uh, with three victories to celebrate today. First one is on the fingerprint issue. Those of you who were told that you would have to pay to have your fingerprints re be redone because they were misplaced or something by the state or the FBI, um, you won't have to do that. Uh, the State Department of Education, along with some prodding from the state legislature, have um, decided that uh, you still do have to have your fingerprints redone, but you don't have to pay for it. And those, of, some of you uh, already had, did that, and you, you paid the money, and I'm assured by our CDE representative, Angelica Schroeder, that uh, they're working on a way to get that money refunded to you. So that's victory number one. Big thanks to Angelica and also to Jenny Arndt, our representative here on the west side of Fort Collins, um, down at the state legislature for helping us to get that problem solved. And uh, second victory, if you were watching the board meeting last night, you know that we uh, were able to urge the board to um, move the calendar a little bit for next holiday break. So holiday break will be one day longer next year. We're going to push back the start of uh, school by one day. And the Coloradoan had a great um, article about that today. Thank you, Sarah Jane Kyle, for doing that for us. And uh, the finished, polished up, nice looking with the colored boxes calendar will be posted on the PSD website soon. And the third victory. After a lot of work, the board last night issued a joint statement which was signed on to by all three employee groups, PACE, ACE, and Poudre Education Association. And here, let me read this statement to you. It says, we would like to express our gratitude to school leaders, teachers, staff, and community members during this time of uncertainty. Poudre School District is committed to serving all students, regardless of race, color, religion, national origin, ancestry, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, disability, or legal status, and are committed to our mission of educating every child every day. Our schools are safe and accepting places where diversity is valued and celebrated. Poudre School District recognizes we are stronger when we come together as a community. Our students, our schools, our community stand together in support of one another. Signed, PSD Board of Education. To that end, um, we will be uh, hosting an event. Poudre Education Association is sponsoring a uh, immigration Q&A here at the Media Center at Rocky. That's tomorrow night, Thursday night, from 5 until 6 p.m. Um, we will have Kim Medina, an immigration attorney, will be here. Also, Amy baca Olert, who is the vice president of Colorado Association, Colorado Education Association, will be here. And uh, we will have lots and lots of handouts to help teachers to be able to answer those questions that come to them from their students, sometimes the very little ones, and their families about uh, various immigration questions. So please uh, come on by for that. Um, this is not a PSD-sponsored event. It's a PEA-sponsored event. We went ahead and rented the room, so um, that's all taken care of, and I hope to see you there. Looking forward to it. All right. Have a great Wednesday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.